Apple has created a concept called Smart Things. And in iTunes, there are smart playlists. In the address book, there are smart groups. And in the Finder, they are smart folders. So I'm going to go ahead and create and open up a Finder window. And I'd like to have a smart folder that lets me see all of my pictures. Now, you'll notice uh, in my Finder window, there are already some pre-built searches, one that's called All Images. And this is great, it includes some of the photos that I want, uh, but as I scroll down, it includes a bunch of photos that I don't care anything about. These are photos that are used for Microsoft Office or for other applications. So I'd like to be able to build a smart folder that just has the uh, images in it that I care about. So in order to create a new smart folder, I'll go up to the file menu and say new smart folder. And much like in the other applications, you need to define the criteria that you want to have met in order to have a file appear in this folder. So I'm going to continue with some of these defaults. Uh, anywhere on this Mac, uh, I'd like you to search the contents of a file. Uh, but I need to add some criteria here. So the first is the, um, the kind or the type of file needs to be a, uh, an image. Uh, so that's great. It's filtered uh, just like the other smart list to, to uh, all the images. However, again, it's got all of these graphics that aren't pictures or aren't ones that I want. So I'm going to add another criteria. The, the next thing that will help me determine that it's the right kind of picture is that it's a, a JPEG picture. It has an extension on the end of JPG. So the name contains JPG. Okay, this is great. Uh, now I have a list of all the images um, and just the ones that are JPEG files. But it still is including some of these uh, uh, pictures that I don't want. Um, now fortunately, these are easy to filter out. They're just small pictures. So I'm going to use the file size as my last indicator. Uh, and it's not listed as default here, so I'll go to Other. And these are all the different search attributes that you can choose to use when you're creating a smart folder in the Finder. I'm going to scroll down to Size and click OK. And now I want the size to be greater than, I'll just say, 100 kilobytes. And now let me take a look here. So these are all pictures that I've taken. Yep, this is exactly the list that I want. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to give it a, a, a special name here. We'll call this uh, My Pictures. And I'm going to, I can choose where I save this. I'll go ahead and say uh, put it into saved searches. That's fine. That's the default. And it add to the sidebar. It'll add it over here with the rest of these as soon as I click save. And now let me close this. So now you can see there's that all images default one that was there before. And then there's the one that I created, my pictures. And sure enough, in here are all of the pictures that I had. So that's how you use a smart folder within the Finder.